good afternoon. My name is Alessandro Palazzi. I work at the Jukes Bar. The cocktail I'm going to make it with Havana, three years old, I am actually going to call Toddy in Havana. The name comes for the actually hot toddy, and the cocktail is a classic mojito with a little bit of twist. A few cloves, just to put there, and then the pomegranate, which is, instead to use a lime, which is often, I'm going to use, because also it's a seasonal uh, kind of uh, mojito. Pomegranate is in the season at the moment. And then, of course, a mojito after have is mint, otherwise it won't be a mojito. Now, obviously, toddy is supposed to be uh, served warm. This one is cold, like a mojito should be. But just thought toddy in Havana is a great combination. So we got a bit mad. It will be like, uh, uh, obviously, the, mo uh, the mint, but also you got the spice of uh, the cloves. Then we're going to put 50 ml of uh, three years old Havana Club. Beautiful, which has been said is the best rum for the mojito. We had a little bit of uh, vanilla, also because the Havana, three years old, it also reminds me a little bit of uh, uh, vanilla. It's got a, a vanilla kind of smell. So we push a little bit more vanilla. A few ice cubes. And again, the same process of a mojito. Obviously, the pomegranate replaced the fresh lemon. Cloves give a little bit of spice, and it's good for you as well, because cloves is an antiseptic. So if you have a little bit of uh, sore throat for singing too many Christmas carols, this will be a perfect cocktail bit of uh, soda water, and then we had another splash of Havana, three years old. Give it a bit more darker red color, because that's what uh, uh, I always suggest to use fresh pomegranate juice. Cinnamon stick, again give a little bit of spice in the Christmas and then spring of mint. And then to finish the uh, Todd in Havana is to crown with this an Italian liqueur called Ratafia, which is a liqueur with cherries and the red wine from Abruzzo. Okay, don't shake, Ula. Et voilà. There we have Todd in Havana. Enjoy. One of my most embarrassing situations happened to me in Paris. I was working in this five-star hotel where we had a lot of uh, high profile and uh, et cetera, et cetera. Madonna came to, to the bar I was working. Never seen a Madonna before. And uh, I was very willing to show so I could say, oh, my friend, I serve Madonna. So I approached her and said, what would you like to drink? She replied, a cosmopolitan. Now, we are talking the beginning of the 90. And the bar in the hotel I was working was very classic. I, the only thing I knew about Cosmopolitan was a, f a female magazine, so very eager, I went to the concierge, asked if they could me supply with the Cosmopolitan magazine. In response to the concierge, told me to get lost in a nice French language and uh, to go to a news agency and collect that type of magazine. So I went back to the table with my disappointed face, sent to Madonna, unfortunately, we don't have uh, uh, the magazine. And she replied, are you stupid? And then one of the bodyguard, remind me, it was actually a, co a cosmopolitan, it was a cocktail created in New York, which then I found out and learned how to make. So that was very quite embarrassing. So that was my touch of fame in my early career.